everyone, it's Taryn. Welcome back if you've been here before and thanks so much for stopping by if you're new. Um, if you're new here, um, I'm a homeschooling mom to six, ages two to 13 and I'm expecting another one in November. Um, I thought it would be fun to share with you all my tips on back to school meal prep. Um, we are now in our third week of back to homeschool. And I've learned a few things, obviously, over the last eight years of homeschooling and even in these last couple of weeks about um, making that transition, transition time a little bit easier on me and a little bit easier on the kids. So I thought I'd share um, my top five tips with you in hopes that it will make your transition, whether it's back to public school, back to homeschool, private school, whatever that may be, um, just to make your transition a little bit easier. Um, we know that in the first week uh, back to school, whatever school that may be, it can be tiring on us as moms. It can be tiring on the kids, especially. Everybody's getting used to a new routine. They're getting used to new schedules. Um, I know our sleep cycles even change in my family. So these tips I'm going to share with you are simple, but they are tried and true and they have worked for my family and hopefully will work for yours. Number one, my first tip is to make simple, easy meals for that first week back to school. This isn't the time really to be browsing Pinterest or your favorite cookbooks, unless you have a tried and true recipe, of course. Um, just make simple meals, simple meals to prepare and simple meals to clean up, those easy, no fuss kind of meals. That way you don't have more arguments on your hands. We all know how that can go, right? Tip number two, use a crock pot. I know it's August right now, and most people think of um, using crock pots in the winter for beef stew and casseroles and things like that, but I actually find I use my crock pot more often in the summer than I do in the winter. Um, there's so many things that you can make in your crock pot. You can put a whole chicken in your crock pot and then use it for multiple meals, um, but obviously we know it's easy to put something there in the morning and then either come home or just know that there's something in your crock pot ready to go. Um, again, a no fuss meal. Tip number three, make your go-to family meals. Make those meals that you know your kids love, that you know you love, that you know your husband loves. Um, this really isn't the week to try something new, something that you're not sure your family will like. Like I said in the beginning, there's so many changes going on this week. And we really don't need one more reason to argue with our children, right? So make those meals that you know are family favorites and just enjoy them. Number four, when you are cooking, cook extra and then freeze for a future meal. Or when you're cooking extra, you don't even have to freeze it. You could just use it for lunch the next day, especially if you're a homeschooling mom. Um, your husband could take some extras to work the next day. So just make a little bit extra when you are cooking or when you're using the crock pot that much easier the next day or in a future meal. And my last tip, one that we had fun with, was at the end of your school week on a Friday night, have fun. Maybe make a pizza night or do a taco night or splurge and have dinner ordered or go out to eat or make, you know, breakfast for dinner, something fun to celebrate your first week back to school and just enjoy that time together as a family. So, like I said, these are simple tips, but they've worked for my family, and I hope they can simplify your week back to school a little bit and make that back to school transition a little bit easier for your family. So much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.